So do you remember what happened last time? Yeah, we're in the um we're in Saki's demon dream and we have to find a seed and uh, like kill it or something to get her out of this dream before the flowers turn like red red and we have to find the real Saki because the Saki that's like in the dream isn't the real Saki yeah oh I put too much fruit punch in there I don't have enough room for the alcohol hold on Dang. Oh so. no, I guess you're just gonna have to drink some. Yeah, the community is wonderful. I, I can't tell if that's sarcasm or not, but I'm I'm like dead serious. The amount of people that will like I don't know, they just they're really positive and have like good gaming manners and really value people having fun over just like winning. Like, of course, there's some bad apples here and there because every community has them, but by and large, the Dead by Daylight community is wholesome as fuck. Sasha posts uh, screenshots of messages that go on in games all the time, and I'm like, no way. <laughs> no way there's an online semi-competitive game that exists where people are just nice to each other. Oh. Cannot believe it. Do not believe it. All right, I got my refill. Are you ready? Though. Yeah, you got your drink? Okay. Well, I did think this was a world made from Saki's point of view. Was this situation really what she had wished for? Oh, shit. Sure. Or I... Wait, I have to change this really suddenly or not. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. This is Resident Evil. So true. Yeah. It's not a sarcasm. I like to stick around. I just don't look at stream if I end up in a DVD stream. Oh, yeah. That's fair. I hate that this game does not have a category. Yeah, it's kind of brutal. Especially with how good it is. It kind of seems really unfair <laughs> that it just doesn't have a game category. I thought maybe she had wished for something else before that, and this simply happened as a result. There's something I can think. There's something I can think of that if it ended differently, that Saki and I might be in this sort of relationship now. I don't know if I'm drunk or if I'm. No, no, I am not drunk. I just wasn't gonna say anything. No, I, I am not. Feeling, but I wasn't gonna say anything. No, I was just really bad reading. Because I was like, what the fuck? Does that just not make sense or is that just me? I mean... I know the meaning of it, which is basically like, they, in another timeline, if things had gone differently, they probably would have ended yeah. up together. I get what that's what he's trying but, to say, but I feel like it's worded fear, or is that just me? It's kind of strange. There's something I can think of that if it ended differently, then Saki and I might be in this sort of relationship now. I think he's trying to specifically say the thing, he's just saying it really poorly. Like, there is an incident in particular that decided yeah. our fate. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the f Okay, I'm not crazy. Oh, well... Uh, well, Debatable. Okay, Debatable, my friend. It pained me to watch my little sister get along so well with the plant person. My eyes began to water at my own powerlessness. Oh, we... we he's... Whether I was capable of lucid dreaming or not, right now I was powerless because I was unable to destroy this dream. Oh. Oh, God. It's Yaku. Um. 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 Oh. Oh. Hi. Toru-chan. Okay, but the rose guy looks kind of clean. <laughs> Look at that art. <laughs> do I do the pink plant guy too again? Yeah. I need it myself. You don't have to feed me. 
A gateway to happiness. Let her do it. Taki and Taki and stop grinning, you two. Seeing that exchange made me want to writhe in embarrassment. Oh, he's getting that cringe. <laughs> but as it was happening, I snapped my fingers and inserted my will into it as... <laughs> Why does it feel like it says the same word a bunch of times? But it, but as it was happening, I snapped my fingers and inserted my will into it as I had when I jumped into this stream. It was the same way I always overwrote my own dreams when I had a lucid dream. I snapped my fingers as if it were the signal for a magic trick and conveniently altered it. The Toru figure fell apart as I snapped. Oh my god! He killed him! <laughs> but a plant person walking nearby slipped into his sea and continued my role in his place. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not like he'll be saved by becoming happy in a dream, anyway. I quickly brushed her off, perhaps because I had answered too quickly. Alice looked at me with a slightly confused expression. Dreams are dreams, even if you become happy in your imagination. That only goes for you. In other words, if you ran away into a dream, it meant you would leave all the people around you behind. That seemed too selfish to call happiness. Alice's confusion seemed to grow at my change in demeanor. And there was no way Saki would agree to that. If there was, then there would be no reason for us to continue being brother and sister. Anyways, if we go to where the real Saki is watching the stream, then we can end it, right? Even if that was no more a supportive measure, more than a supportive measure, wow. Even if that was no more than a supportive measure, in this dream, if this dream continued, then Saki would eventually be unable to come out of it. I can read. Can you stay on the drunk one? <laughs> That's often how the world works, isn't it? Not just with dreams and nightmares, there are tons of bad things that a person just has to deal with themselves that don't go away. Would it be easier to just ask her? I'd gotten the hang of it from doing it earlier. All I needed to do now was to see if I could do it. Besides, don't I just need to make her understand that I'm her brother and that this is just a dream? 
Like, if we confronted her with a contradiction in the dream... Would the dream just swallow that and continue, or would it break down temporarily? She's really stuck on that point. Yeah, but Saki's the one who thought of it and said she would be my little sister. Alice let out an eh next to me, but I snapped my fingers without looking at her. The plant figure playing me came apart like an unraveled bundle of string and disappeared. I didn't end my changes there. The plant people that approached Saki came apart one after the other. The plants growing in the dream withered or scattered or shrank as if their growth was reversed. I was imagining a normal classroom. A place where there was no plants growing here and there, and no scarecrow-like people walking around. I had been saved because Saki had become my sister. It was my fault. So maybe I was trying to return the favor. Or maybe I just thought it wasn't fair that Saki got to have a happy dream. It seemed like both hypocrisy and jealousy. I felt exasperated towards myself, but I felt it necessary to destroy this dream for both of those reasons. Erase everything like this. Perhaps because the figure playing me was no longer there and that everyone else had also stopped, the play could no longer go on. It was as though a gear had been removed. It's just actively, like, killing it. I feel like that's a bad idea, too. Yeah, that's what she's saying. You're being too forceful. Just as I heard Alice's panicked voice ring out. Oh, shit. Nobody invited you. Go away. Maya appeared as if oozing out of the air. Ew, <laughs> she's an ooze. She just oozed everywhere, ew. No. Oh. Me next. She hovered in the air between us and Saki as though there was an invisible platform for her to stand on. That alone caused my alterations to stop, but the plants didn't grow back, and Saki and everyone else were still frozen. Thank you, I... very talented, I guess. Damn, Skippy. Maya giggled and snapped her fingers, imitating me. At the same instant, Saki started moving in the frozen world. The rest of the dream, Tetsuya and Asahi and the rest of the classmates with faces didn't move at all. It seemed that Saki alone had come to our side. I mean, how did she? Then again, I guess the only one she wouldn't recognize is Alice. Maya landed next to Saki without a sound and took her hand. Oh no, she doesn't know which one to call him. Oh no. 
I could tell that Saki was confused at the sudden change of events. She didn't seem to know what was happening or what she was now doing. さっきさきちゃんと一緒にお弁当を食べていた兄さんじゃないわ。私どうい。今までのは全部夢。さきちゃんはこんな風になるのが望みだったのね。え、じゃあ今までのはそれに兄さんもしかして似てたの。Okay, so now she's aware. I didn't answer, but that became its own answer, and Saki's face flushed bright red. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> Probably. I love you. Like, you're a bitch. Like, that simple. Listen, I love her, but she's a bitch. <laughs> Whoa, them scissors. Girl. Who you castrating today? He did say she had giant shears, though. Yeah. She was doing some pruning. Alice? With her heart shaped shears in hand, Alice thrusted it at Maya. Oh, shit. <laughs> girl fight. Girl fight. <laughs> Damn. Then she pointed at me with the hand that wasn't holding the shears. Damn, she's for real just, like, marriage counseling right now. Yeah. Well, she wasn't wrong. What? Not moving from Saki's side, Maya gave an unpleasant grin. Uh, um, what? Uh -huh. Maya shot a look in my direction and Alice looked at me in a huff as if to say, I knew it was your fault. What the hell did I do? You exist. Maya interrupted Saki's words with a hug. Damn. I, I, I'm still getting past the torment to you or not. Excuse yeah. me, like, what? No, no. Like, sorry, I kind of want you to suffer a metric fuck ton, but I love you. Girl. Jesus Christ. You are the definition of abuse. <laughs> She wants to, it's her ink, I guess. That's certainly yeah. something. Yeah. Ick, yeah. Maya proudly said something bad. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, she was deep in the sauce for that one. But the fact why I said that wasn't the only reason Saki couldn't hug her back. Oh, we're gonna get some tea. Or Saki could even let out a eh? Maya kissed her on the lips. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me we get that. No! Saki collapsed instantly. Maya picked her up easily as though she were a prince carrying a princess. The all too familiar scent of roasted honey, sweets, and dense forests wafted into the air as the nightmares began to spread once more. Oh, what the hell? But it's a dream. There's no way that's. Maya grinned and ran her hand along Saki's cheek. She kept smiling, but gave me a disparaging look. Damn! The way you're phrasing that. Curving her lips into a smile, Maya giggled. The sweet smell grew stronger. The presence of white flowers got stronger. Maya sweetly, gleefully whispered as she sneered. She seemed to be having so much fun, she couldn't stand it. Me when my wires are getting cross all over the place. <laughs> she was always one who smiled as she said mean things to Saki and me, but she was impossible to hate. Ow! Lies. These are lies. I don't know. Why are you... Even if she sometimes did cruel things for fun, she wasn't the type of person who really hurt others. I... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Deep down, she was the nicest one of us by far. What the fuck? I don't know about that one, Chief. Bro. The copium is real on that one. I know you guys were kids, but come on. You have to realize that she... Okay, I'll give them a pass. They were kids and also she died. So you never really see people in battle like when you think they died, right? I guess, right? I I don't know. Yeah, it depends. Like some people get harsher on the dead and some people get more lenient on the dead, so I don't know. He's struggling though. Why are you doing this to Saki? I'm the one you should resent in that case. <laughs> Saki 
Still holding Saki, Maya turned around and took a step into the air. Maya sneered again. If this is how you treat people you want to be happy, God, God. How, yeah. You treat people that want, you want them to be miserable, what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing you want to know. Then Maya clicked her heels. Bruh. The oh, world please. swirled around and the ground disappeared. There's no place like hell, there's no place like home. Yeah, for real. There's no place like fucking nightmare death fuel. The scene had changed. It was now Toro's room. In front of the TV were a table and a sofa sitting side by side on the sofa were Toru and Saki. Saki, getting late. So you should hold head back to Even through the curtains, you could tell that it was dark outside. Saki let out a quiet moan and leaned against Toru's shoulder. She wanted to say something, but she was hesitating. Toru knew that too, so he became strangely tense and spoke a little too quickly. We have Takahara-san come. Get you so late again. Saki finally spoke. Oh, then should I walk you? Saki shook her head as she continued to lean on him. Toru tilted his head in confusion. Toru had been expecting something from the way Saki was acting, but he hadn't expected that, so he paused. Saki didn't have to finish that sentence. Toru froze for a moment, but then reached to pet Saki's head, which had been resting on his shoulder. Why do you push me? I'm a pusher. I do, I push people. It was true that he hadn't done anything, their childhood days aside from as far back as he could remember, from the time they had become boyfriend and girlfriend, they had never so much as kissed. Damn. <laughs> I mean... I don't know, what, what's weird is this is a dream of hers, so... Huh? She's dreaming of him being sexually frustrating. <laughs> uh, no. And as a result, she, result, <laughs> result, result. she cornered, <laughs> she cornered him. Result. As a result.
Seeming troubled, Toru sighed to calm himself down. I thought we could at least wait until you graduated. Damn, sex is too distracting. You need to graduate first. Get that degree, girl. Saki took his hand in response. She wanted to wait for a few more... He wanted to wait for a few more months. That was all. Are they talking about sex or just kissing? Because if he's withholding kisses, like, I think, I don't know, he's I fucking tripping, dude. Sex. Hey, no, I kiss without having sex, uh, I don't know. Hey, I would have cared. But having come this far, it wasn't like Toru could say, so let's wait until next year! <laughs> Like, yeah, let's do it. Nah, but what is this? Next year. Easy. Easy. He's, he's cock blocking himself, dude. He let's, doesn't even want it. Listen, we block ourselves. It's fine. Or she wants him to not want it. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that's the confusing part. She's like, what? Who's at fault here? I mean,. This is technically him saying it, but it's in her dream. It's like, what? I don't know. Like, interesting. Watch she dreams that they start to try to do it, but he can't get it up. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it won't rise. Ah, I hit the wrong button. Wait, is this the first sex scene? It's the first sex scene, this, not even real. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It's the first. It's the first um, choice scene. Interesting. Right next to Toru, Saki stared into his eyes. I have to hit the other answer button because I keep accidentally hitting shift. Give me. Her own were watery. She was putting on a brave front too, and tried to keep her hands from shaking. So, okay, let me think this through. So if we say yes to fucking her, she gets her dream, and then we die, right? So that would be the speedrun death. I'm gonna let you choose whatever you like. That could only mean one thing. I'm gonna get jiggy with it. Um, uh... <laughs> Saki put her hands around Toru's back, and the two of them embraced each other. Then, like a turn of a page in a manga, Saki was now lying in the bed. That's meta as fuck. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Your fourth wall breaking. <laughs> I mean, it's like a clever way because it's like a dream, so it's, it would be like yeah, actually be like skipping pages. Yeah. Or leaned over her. Below his arms was Saki, waiting with her face full of hope and nervousness. Toru-chan. Mm. Toru-chan. Fuck me. In response to that name, I... Ooh, a nut in my pants. <laughs> nut right here now, I said. <laughs> I just, <"Druid."> nut. <laughs> I just go, uh, oh. Wait, I have my... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> nut. Perfect. I don't have um, nut. Nut. Nutty nut nut. I eat the nut. That's cool. Uh, um. Okay, so giving into the dream would be bad, so we should do that. Also, I'm greedy and I want them to. I accept them. it. I accept it. You accept Do we have to pain? get rid of chat or does it not show anything and we just die? It shows. Huh? Hi, Summer. Hi, uh, Summer. Wait, I have to put something on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, I have to. Oh! <gasps> 
<gasps> Wait, is it ready? I saw it, yeah. It's, it's ready. Oh my god. The timing. The epic timing. I can show you here. This is what she sent me. Oh my god. So cute. What the heck? I love that for you. Love. Oh, this is this is because I have to block up what's about to happen in the visual novel. They're they're about to fuck. So <laughs> titties. <laughs> oh, I sealed Saki's mouth with a kiss. Oh, it's possible. No, I have to make it as big as possible because it's fucking, I don't know what's gonna happen next. You don't have your... <laughs> okay. No, I have my laptop on showing me what's gonna happen, so... Oh no, the I music. felt Saki's soft lips make contact with mine. Hot breath spilled from the corners of my mouth. <laughs> okay. I'm about to say, it, like, it's. Don't you notice something weird about her chest? That it's flat? <laughs> okay, now look higher and look at her hair. Do you think that's soft hair? My <laughs> That dirty bitch! <laughs> good night, okay, Summer. Okay, good night, Summer. Thank you for the Use art. Use protection? I don't know about that. Uh, it, we're in like a nightmare situation where we're just got debated. I, I don't know. So. Okay, keep going. God, I kissed her again in response. Yes, this is what I wanted to do. Even I had always wanted this. Why didn't I do it? I'm sure there was a reason. Huh, why was it? Completely unable to remember, I ran my hands along Saki's body. The body I'd taken care of to not touch for so long was soft and smooth. <laughs> you playing with the box. <laughs> She tried to cover them with her arms, but I slipped past them and reached for her bra. I was like, I don't... I don't think I Mata, need the Mata. truth. Mata Mata. <laughs> I ran my hands from her cheek to her chin and from her neck to her mouth. Saki trembled each time she felt my touch. Trying to get as full as I can. Oh. <laughs> A sweet smell came from Saki's body. It was like honey and sweets. But not only that, she also smelled like trees. Maybe it was some sort of body wash. The smell made me dizzy. Now I gotta increase the box because the, the screen changed on my PC. So... Okay. <laughs> suki, 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 stack ass. Aye. Okay. 
Oh my god. Saki put her hand behind my neck. We kissed as we called each other's names. Meltingly sweet black tea scented kiss. A sweet aroma. A sweet aroma. The scent of a dense forest. Saki was in front of me. I looked up and looked up at me with moist, watery eyes. Oh, I think this one I have to increase. For context, it says we'll always be together now, right? The two of us can always be together, right? She held me tight. We won't go anywhere, right? Saki question quotation says. <laughs> Unable to answer, I sought after Saki. Wrapped in that sweet aroma, I felt only a desire to seek Saki. Seek Saki, seek Saki, seek Saki, seek Saki. Saki. <laughs> Not <laughs> Rafiki. Rafiki. <laughs> Rafiki. <laughs> Not just my head. I felt like my whole body was dizzy. I was unable to tell the difference between me and Saki and the air and the bed and the smell and anymore. I can we scroll up my bed? My surroundings grew dark and I couldn't see well. I smelled nothing but the scent of that deep forest. Unable to sense Saki's presence. Merely wrapped in a sweet, gentle air, I sank. Ah, shit, and fell. That's so cool. Can you, like, show her eyes, like, a little bit? I think I can Gloria, like, a lot because of this frame. Yeah. There we go. Look how wild that is. Look at her face. You're playing with fire. That is getting so small. Yeah, oh yeah it's God. fine. It's fine. You're, it's you're playing with fire. No, 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 no. No, literally, this is like the last screen, so it's like, it's fine. Yeah, Maya straight up just switched out for Saki and is like full on demon sucking our ass. One pixel from disaster. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes Happy birthday, black. you're banned. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued? <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing. It just ends completely. Oh, I won. I beat the game. Happy <laughs> man. <laughs> Wait, I want to see if I hit continue. Oh no, okay. I thought something else would happen. Okay. So, we died. Or we never we woke died. up again. That we implied. Yeah. Yay, good job! We fucked to death, let's go! I don't even think it's fucking this. So long. Yeah, we end up in a dream forever, unable to wake up. Damn. All deep into the quote unquote rabbit hole if you wanna. Clean. Yeah. Should we start the next route, the next choice? Uh, we could. What time? Or do you wanna it? do something else for like 30 minutes? I want to pee, that's what I wanna do. Go pee, bitch. Meanwhile, I will read these DMs, not out loud. Sorry, gamers. Dude, that's so cool that Summer actually came through and got the art in on birthday. She was struggling with the hands for so long. Pixel chibi hands are pain. Can't wait for Bleach to post this. It's so fucking clean. Or put it on screen, maybe. Gossip roll. Oh, it's that art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the art that he commissioned a minute ago. 
and it's here and it's fucking clean. I love it. For you or for bleach? Yeah, th this one's for bleach. It's his new mech suit. Believes it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was just talking to you about how I'm so excited that Summer came through with the art. That's another it way. looks so good. Should I show it or should I just wait for tomorrow? Up to you. Honestly, I would be hype. I would want to show it, but... I'm just glad that I got here for your birthday. That's very cool. Yeah, she said many crashes and edits later. I, yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. I was telling Bake, too, that the behind the scenes, I was trying not to say anything to you, too, because I know she's been working really hard on it. And you're like, I don't even know if she's had time to work on it because, like, her life stuff. And I was, like, trying not to tell you that she has been. But she was fucking struggling with the hands because hands, chibi hands in pixel form is, like, pain. So I'm glad she settled on something that she's, like, we're here. I mean, like I said, like, I wouldn't have called her if she was busy with her life. I was like, you know, I just, like... Yeah. I love it. I love the little asymmetry stuff. I love... Oh. If I use this, so though, I would have to... You probably just put it on like the other side so that like they're both like facing in if that makes sense on the screen and then one of them gets the cupcake and one of them gets me smiles i was gonna say well i was like in general because i was gonna use it permanently. yeah she can flip it for you there's an orientation flip thing fine i'll i'll just be a left screener a left screener i got one on the left side hold on i have to save it sure, sure. yeah you do you watch a bit of it get done it was cool yeah yeah, yeah. you can mirror an obs i think please use a stream labs though for streaming at least Yeah. I love the color scheme. It's so you. It's so you. It's so me. Wow. It's so you. What is this thing you posted in meme speak? What is this bump? <laughs> Why are they practicing their thrusts? What's up? I was like, the poor Why news I lady it? is losing it. She's wheezing. You can't grab it? Yeah, I couldn't grab it in OBS. Okay. For some reason, I can't punch size it. OBS, I mean, like. Yeah. Like, is it is it locked? Did you try unlocking it? No, it wasn't locked. It, I can move it now. It's just that I can't. Size it. 
Interesting. I can resize it if I... Can you have the layer selected? If you use control, that's wonderfully scuffed. I love that for you. Oh yeah, if I use a controller, I can do it. You don't know, you were so confused. Yeah, me, me too, right. fam. I don't know how that rivals the shake weight, but... Alright, great. I'm about to reveal it. Everyone ready? I'm ready. I'm grasping my, my titties. I'm ready. You ready, babe? Ready! <laughs> Boom. <gasps> Let's go! I'm just a nanner with a cupcake. Let's go. I was here. I was here. I was here. So cute. Sure, yeah. yeah. Good game series, by the way. Excellent franchise. Exactly, yeah. Uh, not yeah, I love we were here. I love we were here. <laughs> We were and two, three, four, and expeditions. <laughs> Hell of a ball. <laughs> this is so cute. I love this. And then my banana's just seen some shit. <laughs> Hold on, Zach. Okay, for your life. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, this works for our purposes. I love. Exactly. Now I can use a food leaf. A foogly. Foogly foogly. Let's go. You know, I realized I wasn't using a word right when you said, I love how you use foogly, but I, I just don't know how that and I don't care. Foogie. Foogie, foogly, whatever. Yeah, you just added more letters, but it sounds better the way you say it, which is why I like it. <laughs> so good. Is Not that... me just staring at you right now, it's fine, Copium. <laughs> just staring at the models like how you. Yes, clean. I will say, I am surprised how the face itself has more detail, though. Like, holy crap. Yeah! There's so much, like, slight detail. I'm. I'm glad that, like, we let her cook and let her do, like, a bigger size. Well, you specifically, but. I think like that's supposed to be a card reader thing in my face on the cheek. Wow, that yeah. Like chips or something. Yeah. Or you know for when you take people's money, because why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and big, so you see it here. The whole model. Yeah. There Ooh. it is. There it is. On yeah, the leggies. There's so many like details on the legs and the hip. Yeah, I know. It's like wow. The asymmetry is so good. Is there like way more detail than I thought? Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Always let Summer cook. Rule number one, always let Summer cook. Always let her cook. That's what I'm saying. So 
so fucking good. Alrighty. How you feeling? What do you feel like? I think we're almost there. Uh, in the conclusion of the chapter, at least. So we can do this. That. Oh, so do you want to run the other route, too? Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. This isn't me! It's not real! It ain't this me! This isn't me! It ain't me, bro. <laughs> it ain't the nightmare for me. <laughs> the instant I thought that the scene before my eyes fell apart. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> Flashbang. <clears throat> Next thing I knew, I had been thrown violently to the floor. No, it seemed like I had been knocked down from somewhere on high. The place I was in hadn't changed. I was still in the dream, in my room, overgrown with nightmare plants. The plants were gathering where I had just been and were trying to form into the shape of a human. If I had wished for it, I was sure I would have forced them away. I was thrown out because I thought that I didn't belong there. I sat up and looked at the bed where Saki was sleeping and being slowly entangled by those plants. I must have hit the ground pretty hard because pain ran through my shoulder when I sat up. But I couldn't worry about that right now. Roses slowly began to bloom all around Saki. At this rate, she would be swallowed up by the plants. The white petals continued to change red as if someone were lathering paint on them. Oh no, we're painting the roses red. I managed to stand up and tried to grab her, but the instant I touched her, several sharp thorns stabbed into my hands. Although she was entangled with many more vines than me, Saki didn't have a scratch. It was like they were telling me that I had no right to be here anymore after I chose not to be with her. Gradually, those vines formed a figure that matched my shape. From my thorn-pierced hands, blood had started dripping down my fingers and onto the floor. Exactly, Bake. You know the song. Although it was a dream, the pain was quite real. I almost pulled my hands back, but... Even though I held back all this time, what the hell do you think you're doing? In more ways than one. Paying no heed, I kicked the me leaning over Saki in the side as hard as I could. Though it was the size of a person, my kick knocked the plant away from the bed as if it were any other overgrown house plant. The human-sized portion fell to the side as it tore away from the segment that was crawling along the sheets. The leg I used to kick it was all cut up, and soon my pant leg and sock were stained a bright red. The sweet smell wafting around the room gave off an ominous feeling, so I ignored the fallen plant person intended to Saki. Saki, get a hold of yourself. Get up, Saki! It was hard to stand on my bloodied leg, so I knelt onto the bed with my other leg as I held Saki. As it was before, Saki wasn't hurt at all. I was the only one the Roses had injured. Saki! Hey! Saki! Her voice is gonna break my heart. Saki opened her eyes with a shocked expression. Saki stiffened as she noticed that I was bleeding and saw the vines moving around the room. The 
didn't know what to say. Not wanting to see Saki's face, I held her against my chest. <laughs> Just then, the world shifted again. Yeah. Next thing I knew, I was alone and surrounded in darkness. Ah, the dark. The wounds on my hands and legs were gone, and I was the way I had been when I first came to this dream. I felt my face for my glasses, only to realize they weren't there and that I was still dreaming. <laughs> Saki's footsteps echoed as she walked towards me. So, given this outfit, I think... Maybe I'm wrong. She's supposed to represent the white rabbit? This does look very white rabbit, yeah. I don't know what that means, but yeah. That's cute for her. I feel like it makes sense for her story, too, because I feel like she's always waking us up, like, after the alarm or whatever, trying to keep us on time to school. And the White Rabbit thing is always like, I'm late, I'm late! Because You're you late! also met it how it's like, she's both, they're both too late for this relationship to happen. Damn, that's deep. Deep. There was a forced smile on her face. I could be grasping this straws, but you know. Saki before me understood everything that had happened up until now. It wasn't just because of the dream. I had known Saki for a long time, so I was confident in the fact that I largely understood her. I'm sorry. It's my fault they don't work out. As Saki came closer, the sweet smell of what Alice had called Nightmare Roses grew stronger. It's because that's how I wanted it. The reason Saki was my sister. Oh look, there's a pendant on her chest. Is that a, like a plant? It's a cute, it looks like a little uh, turnip, like you know, uh, turnip boy. If, Commits tax evasion or some shit. Commits tax <laughs> evasion. Yeah, I'm not joking. Turnip. What? Commits tax evasion. Banana cover. Boom. There you go. <laughs> okay. Turn up. The reason I dearly wished for her to be my little sister, and the reason I couldn't actually make a move on her. Yes. It was all because of me, because this was what I wanted, and Saki just went along with it. Why? Saki awkwardly <laughs> changed her bemused smile to a bashful one. A sweet scent emanated from her. On her chest was a single rose with a red with red and white petals. It hadn't turned bright red, not because her wish hadn't come true, but because I had refused her. That's so fucking sad. She seemed to notice that I was looking at her chest and she pulled back, looking a little embarrassed. If you're going to destroy it, do it with your own hands. While looking her in the eyes, I was forced to remember Maya's words. This is so fucking sad. What the fuck? 
I want to believe it, but I can't believe what I want isn't true. Well, it would be convenient. There is a limit to how much I could fool myself. So... Suffer. We are only here to suffer. Saki giggled with her usual tone and attitude like she wasn't thinking of me as someone older than her. ずかしいことを知られてしまった妹を慰めてくれる私の好きな甘いものを食べに行って恋人みたいにはしゃいでうんどうせ慰めるなら抱いてほしいかしらそうすれば色々けじめはつけられるから Saki giggled disdainfully. She went to Saki's side and hugged her gently. Oh my god. You don't have to talk like that. Saki was trembling. I could tell before I even hugged her, before I even saw her. Up close, I could see that there were tears in her eyes, though that too would have known even... I would have known even if I couldn't see her. Yeah, me too, bitch. Sorry for making you say that. I'm a mess, aren't you? Oh, she acted tough. She was hunched over and clearly crestfallen. Put her hands to her chest in a manner in which she could push me away at any time. I slowed my breathing. I prepared myself to give Saki the answer she didn't want to hear. No! Sorry, Saki. Can't do it, after all. If I return to my ordinary, ordinary relationship with you now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get out of here. <sighs> Saki looked away from me without saying anything. I wanted to say, I'm okay, you don't have to be my little sister anymore. I thought I could say it. And Saki graduated from Annexed. I had planned to end this twisted relationship. But as I was now, I didn't think I had the right to embrace her. That was why I wanted to hear... I wanted her to hear these words that showed just how useless I was. Maya appeared again. However, oh, I'm probably hopeless. I might be like this for the rest of my life. I might just drag the past and Maya's shadow with me as a nightmare for the rest of my life. Get a bad you want, Saki. It might be hard for you to have such a troublesome childhood friend too. If it's hard, then you can stop being my sister and abandon me. I was the one who had continued to depend on Saki's kindness. I couldn't ask for forgiveness so lightly. If she left, I was sure it would be hopeless for me. But if Saki didn't mind, then that would be fine, I thought. Saki asked, still looking away from me. It is. Sure, I won't be able to wake up again. 
over something stupid. I did think it was pathetic. But if Alice hadn't come, I probably never would have woken up again. I knew I was the worst, but even so... I do. I don't know if it was because this was a dream or because I was talking to Saki, but I answered honestly without holding anything back. Saki gave one of her usual exasperated sighs, although I hadn't heard it much in this stream. Saki undid her hands from in front of her chest and hugged me back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kitty. Saki said this with a joking tone, but her eyes told me she was serious. I can't live without you. With that answer, Saki gave an irritated looking smile, as though saying I really was hopeless. She murmured in a voice I could barely hear. What is it? Fuck her. Fuck her! <laughs> Saki blushed, blushed awkwardly. Saki stared at me, stifling her embarrassment. I gently hugged her back. And planted a small kiss on her forehead. That's cheating, bruh. <laughs> That's garbage. That's ass tear, my guy. Next thing I knew, Saki and I were in that dream room again, sitting next to each other on the sofa. What the? Next to me, Saki was resting her head on my shoulder and sleeping, even though this was a dream. Bro, you're really close to me, what? Personal space, my guy. And when I looked up, Alice was startlingly close and looking down at us. Ugh, it's you, Alice. Wait, how long was that? How long were you watching? You were watching, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I bet she did. When I hurriedly pulled back from Alice, my shoulder moved and Saki's body slid onto my lap. Perfect! Even though her head was now resting on my leg, she still hadn't woken up. I was unsure as to whether I should wake Saki up or let her sleep, so instead I just pointed at Alice with my mouth agape. Alice seemed to feel guilty, but she still spoke lightheartedly, so I didn't know what to say to her. In Alice's hands were heart shaped shears. She pressed them against the rose on Saki's chest. I wondered if it was really okay to cut it. Or just. Killing her hopes and dreams. Surely it's fine. The smell of the forest emitting from the rose was hard for me to bear, so I didn't stop her. What is personal space? Nothing here. 
They said the English. That's cute. Yeah. Off is his head. Off is his head. So cute. With a sharp snap, the rose fell. So... Who do you think is the Red Queen? <laughs> Probably haven't met them yet, right? Maybe. Oh, do you think it's gonna be, like, Saki's, like, guardian? <laughs> What's her name? Like... Takahara-san? Takahara, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why she would be in this at all, but, like... That would be funny. The petals scattered from the fallen rose as it melted into the air. We don't know. I mean, we're still in the beginning, technically. True. Saki's breathing was still quiet and the smell of the forest was gone, so I felt relieved. This is the beginning, still. Like, it's just the first chapter. I know. <laughs> so. And literally... God, that's crazy. What other characters? So probably... Because we have the Cheshire Cat, we have Alice, we now have the White Rabbit, so we could probably do with the Mad Hatter. Uh, there's also I, the oh, you mean like queen. you mean like in the Alice in Wonderland story. Uh, there's also the caterpillar, yeah. the two caterpillar, yeah. Oh, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Yeah. I don't know if they'd do that. That'd be funny though. And uh, there's also um. I like the caterpillar a lot. There's also the card. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe not a character, but aesthetic wise. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Saki's breathing was... Oh. We also still have, from the game, um, the last friend. Oh, <gasps> you're right! Ooh. Chaotic energy? Kind of a dom. What if she... Yeah, what if she's the, the Queen of Hearts? I thought you were going to say the Mad Hatter. No. Like, I think about that, but I don't know if it's like a. Well, when you go to the title screen, it's confusing because when you go to the title screen, I think she's wearing a rabbit's outfit because they showed her outfit. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at that, actually. Okay, let's finish this chapter. Yeah, yeah. Saki's breathing was so quiet and the smell of forest was gone, so I felt relieved. You want to be Tweedledum? Bet. That's all you. I'd be mad. The cup and saucer in hand, Maya was sipping at her tea while a little ways away from us. Alice looked like she was going to leap at Maya, but I held up my hand to stop her. Alice seemed reluctant, but she stepped back. If she is, then I'll let her get mad at me. Maya giggled. I know. Feeling Saki's weight on my lap, I acknowledged that there wasn't a quick fix. I knew that too, but I also knew that Maya knew. I knew. She was purposefully trying to tease me. Alice seemed to have had enough and started walking towards Maya. She put herself between Maya and me, folded her arms, and glared at her. Maya looked surprised. I actually really like this, how they made her actually physically come in so we can see it, like the correct perspective here. 
人の嫌がることをわざわざ言わないトールもサキちゃんも人がいいから許しちゃうみたいだけどそれに甘えないのキッドのよさに甘えるのは誰かしらね。For a moment, I felt as though I had caught a glimpse of Maya's actual emotions. Alice had struck a chord. Alice looked puzzled, but Maya immediately changed her expression. And with that, Maya took her leave. She spun around and the world spun with her until both had disappeared. That was the end of the dream. I've become the silly idiot. <laughs> I love that for you. The sunlight spilling through the curtain shined through my eyelids. Under that glare, I woke up. This is my apartment, isn't it? I grabbed my glasses from my bedside and put them on. The view through the lenses was my normal apartment. Not a single strange plant in sight. Okay, hear me out. Have I already heard this song enough that I already have it sunk in me? Or is this the same song as in one of the other visual novels? Uh, this is only in this one. I don't remember. Yeah. So you heard it enough, I guess. This sounds very similar to like the um one of the songs from the last one we did actually. Love for hire. Yeah, in love for hire. Maybe. I think they use this as the romance song. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Eh, eh. I'll I'll show you later, but I guess. Similar, but it's not the same. Uh, but there seemed to be lingering effects from the dream because my body was heavy and wouldn't move the way I wanted. <laughs> or is it because someone's on top of you? <laughs> Saki murmured, she had been using my arm as a pillow the whole night. Oh, so your arm is gone. There is no blood flow left in that bitch. Your arm is just like, it, it rotted away and is like on the fucking bed without you. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, yeah, you stayed the night. I had completely forgotten about that with all that had just happened. Of course, this position made it hard for me to move. Far from being just a pillow, Saki was clinging onto me pretty hard. Being this close to her, I suddenly smelled the lingering scent of her shampoo, and not that of the nightmare flowers. I finally felt that this wasn't a dream. I found myself hugging her back and buried my face in her hair. Oh. There was a hint of sweat in Saki's scent. Ah, oh, yes, the aphrodisiac. 
I was startled by Saki's voice. I hurriedly leaned back as Saki looked up at me from my chest. He just randomly embraced her. It was like us. I suddenly remembered the expression she had when I was leaning over her on the bed, and my face turned red. <laughs> Do her, pussy. If you won't. Osaki didn't get mad. She calmly hugged me tight. Saki. Oh, does she remember? Yeah, apparently. I was surprised at those words. Saki seemed to be worried about something different than me as she hugged me tightly. What kind of dream was it? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. I timidly asked. Saki shook her head slightly. Saki suddenly dug her nails into my back. Girl, do not turn me on like that. Not right now. Not like this. Ow, Saki. Oh, he's a bitch. <laughs> no, she was actually trying to hurt him that time. Uh-huh. Well... That's such a complicated question. I wonder if he's gonna answer honestly right here. Like, actually, genuinely. How do you explain that? You just sound crazy. So? Then you sound crazy, but at least you told the truth, right? Like, whether or not she believes he was on her. She put her arms around my back again, this time gently and awkwardly. Well, it was a dream, so there was no denying that. However, plus he also has a thing in fact he doesn't even know what that is. Yeah. Saki had the same dream as me, with Saki hugging me. I could feel the softness of her body, the sensation of her chest, and the smell and smell the scent of her hair. I didn't feel at all aroused by it. What the fuck? Damn. It worked with Kira. I mean, himself. that's nice. What? It worked. He cured himself of his horny. That's that. No, it's nice that they're able to sit there and just enjoy each other without it being anything more. Like that's really nice. But man, you know, no <laughs> I, was, I was like waiting for the butt. <laughs> that uh. is cute. Yeah, exactly. Just embrace your friends. Don't think about it. Just do it. My throat tightened, and I felt like someone had splashed cold water on me. It was, it was a dream, dream but... Yeah, you're saying it. It was a dream, but... I felt an uncomfortable feeling like I had just swallowed an unknown object. What was the sensation? It had to be a dream. Why was this happening? He doesn't even know what the fuck it was. How do you explain this? What are you? Like, it was a dream, but it was a dream? I don't know, man. Aki looked up at me, apparently worried about how I was acting. Maybe it wasn't just Saki and me. Maybe Alice had been somewhere having the same dream, too. I mean... I can understand a person having the same dream as you that's sleeping in the same bed, maybe, kind of? Like, someone... Yeah, but Alice already phrased it like she's a dream hopper, so I don't... Yeah, but like, I'd, I'd believe it. I'd believe I, it. I, I would want to be Alice in real life first. Oh, me too, for sure. I wanna meet her, I wanna fuck her. Um... If that was true... Who's, who's your favorite then? Alice or Saki? Saki. 
Saki hands down. <laughs> Saki hands down, point blank, period. We don't need another girl, but this game is making it so fucking hard. <laughs> Well, we just met Alice, so maybe it'll change your mind. I don't know. And we still haven't met others. So. Maybe. I just think it's tragic that he has something. He's like, he, she's literally here begging for him, and he's straight up just like, nah. <laughs> That's pain. I mean, it's complicated. Like, like you said, he needs her, but he needs her not as a lover. So it's like... Then, uh, pain is complicated emotions and, pain. It, and it all pain. stems from Maya pain Saki I had the same dream at those words Saki stiffened I'm sure it was the same dream you might not remember the whole thing but I do I mean, I guess he's just trying to explain it as best as he can. Drinking tea in a weird place with Maya and Saki showing up. That was the same dream. If everyone having it really existed, then... It was as though she was talking about a fantasy story. Wait, she's alive? Bro, I thought she was dead. Fuck. This weird wording, because she says maybe the Maya Chan there was having the same dream. Like, there yeah. in the dream was having that. What? Not just Saki and me. Somewhere, had Maya been having the same dream too? Is she? Okay, now I'm fucking confused. I know. Maya's dead? Oh my god, you know what could be it? Could be it? She's quote unquote alive, but she's in a coma. But she's dead to us. Oh, coma makes sense too, I guess. No way. No way, bro. Even as I said this, somewhere in my heart, I wanted it to be true. <laughs> or she my could be, guy. or they could have just never found her, so they might be hoping she's still alive somewhere. Maybe, um... Uh... Or, okay. like, who's to say she didn't just fucking move away, but as young kids, that's, like, traumatic as shit or something? I don't, I don't know. Because <laughs> you gotta remember the start of the dream where he says that he went, he exited the forest all alone. That right. he, was, he was walking with a girl who we were presuming was Maya, and then before he exited the forest, the hand disappears, so... Yeah. So it we sounds like know. a tragedy happened, not like... It does! It, it sounds like she died, but if she isn't dead, then but like, who knows? She could, like I said, they could be hoping, because she was probably never found. Like, something happened in the forest, and she was lost. They found him, but they couldn't find her. And after a while, they presumed her dead. But they never really found her body. Could be something like that. Could be, could be. Okay, after this part... It ends the chapter, so we're good. But I have to okay. pee. Again. <laughs> he broke the seal, and now he's just peeing for 10 years. I'll pee too. Okay. All right, I do feel better, because I was kind of holding on to that one, not going to lie. Uh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> Successful pee break, yay! <laughs> From a place both near and far away, there was a figure watching those two. She sneered and giggled gleefully. What is this place? 
What this bitch? Yeah, what the fuck? Is it just a parallel plane? How is she seeing them when they're awake? I don't know. Of course, Mai's voice didn't reach the other two. She was spying on them one-sidedly. Here, there was no trace of the nightmare flower scent, only the smell of the dense forest wafted in the air. Oh, the rose on her chest is red. I wonder if something happened there. The coma thing's looking kind of good, actually. You think maybe she's sorry if she died, but her subconscious slipped into the dream? Okay, hear me out. Yeah. What if he's always had always had these dreamwalking powers? And as kids, he took Maya into a dream where they were doing what they wanted, but because they did too much of what she wanted, her rose turned red. And she got trapped there forever. And her body just withered away. And he woke up. And she didn't, and all he knows is that she didn't. And he's traumatized by it. But he doesn't remember any of this other shit. I mean, that's a theory. That would be crazy. I'm just saying, that'd be crazy. Because the symbolism of the red rose on her chest is goes hard. <laughs> Game theory. <laughs> Let me calculate the odds in which my answer is correct. Yeah. In the dark room. Just the beginning. I know. Maya's emotionless giggle echoed and disappeared. This bitch. Interlude.